and welcome to part 5 of the workflow process and uh, during this part of the tutorial I am going to focus on texturing uh, this is not a how-to tutorial but more of a process workflow uh, the process that I go through when I uh, create an environment so part 5 is texturing what I'm doing here right now is when I begin texturing I apply a no draw texture to the entire uh, uh, every single brush in my level so every face gets a no draw texture and then what I do is I choose a texture that I like and I apply it to that one specific face that the player will see and that what that does it optimizes a level as I'm texturing so the brushes that have a no draw texture applied to them will not render thus making my map my environment uh, run smoother and compile a lot faster so there's a few things uh, other people do is they do this process in the beginning when they're blocking in your, uh, their map uh, so you can do that you can uh, block in your map and then uh, go through your entire map and apply no draw texture and then apply developer texture to the faces you see thus you know making this stage a little faster I tend to do it later uh, uh, during the texturing stages so it's just you know an, a, another way that you can do so so I'm just kinda going through my entire map and uh, applying textures to the uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work everything at the same time I'm not focusing on one area I'm not spending too much time on one room making those textures perfect I just want to block in all the entire uh, map entire environment in a base texture that I, I get to see what it looks like as a whole so try to work try to think big try to uh, you know uh, get an overview of what the entire map is gonna look like and also for me it's always been a challenge to uh, texture the entire map and uh, you know, kind of avoid over analyzing it because uh, during the texture stage, it's you know, it's in, it's in the middle of that process where nothing is looking good, nothing is where you like it to be. So uh, a lot of times I swap textures, trying to make the environment kind of look better. But you have to kind of trust the process that everything will turn out fine, and just you know, keep on texturing without analyzing what you're doing because if you have reference which I highly recommend that you do when you texture or when you do anything you always want to reference uh, photographs reference environments and uh, so when you texture always look back at your reference and then you know texture according to that and just trust trust the process that everything will be fine and it, it will turn out fine it never failed me and I know it will not fail you so here I am now texturing the floors, seeing how it looks. Um, you can see me again, kind of reapplying the textures and seeing what looks good for my environment. Um, I don't have any pictures that I took of the interior. And yes, this is a uh, an inspiration environment that I visited when I went to Switzerland last year. So this is kind of a um, I, I, it is an actual, it's a real place so it's inspired by a real place and I always wanted to create it and now uh, uh, I get to create it and then you get to uh, to see it and w uh, after I go through all the life of the tutorials I will release this uh, environment for everyone to download well it will include pretty much everything that I worked on here in, in all of the tutorials that I released so I am going through now and texture my uh, main building. And uh, again, I am only applying uh, the texture to the f uh, face, uh, to the surface, to the face that we see, that the player sees. So by pressing shift and then applying the texture, you apply your texture to the entire brush. But just, uh, but if you only right click it on the face that you want to apply it to, it only applies, to, applies it to that face. So just a few uh, things to keep in mind when you're doing that.
and also what you want to try to do when you texture is uh, try to re reuse as many textures as you can so don't texture your environment with uh, you know dozen and hundreds of different textures because you want to keep your texture uh, memory size as low as possible you know sometimes some certain maps will that will not be possible but you know always keep that in mind that uh, by texturing um, one building, you may want to reuse that texture somewhere else. That's you know you're gonna s you're gonna save a lot of memory on, on your map, so it'll reduce your compile times, and it'll make your map run faster. So as you get to more uh, complex environments, uh, things like optimizing and applying no draw texture to your uh, brushes, and reusing the textures and reusing uh, props, everything will come into play. You know, for a small environment, uh, that doesn't matter. But when when you start building uh, worlds, which I, you know, I want you to start building beautiful, full environments, you, you, uh, a lot of things. And uh, at this point, I didn't like the texture before, so what I did was I just replaced the texture. So uh, th you have an option of replacing textures that you c have uh, currently in your level, in your map. And by selecting texture and then hitting replace in the face edit sheet, it replaces all the textures for you, so you don't have to go retexture every brush again. So you see, I'm doing a lot of filtering out and uh, choosing the brushes that I like. Um, a lot of times that I here I applied uh, a texture to to the ground, and I didn't particularly like how it looked. So I went back and I chose a little darker. So after I build the the main geometry, I work on my texturing, base texturing down. Then what I do is I move on to adding the props. And then once I add all of my props, I work on overlays and decals and then all of those things kinda get uh, molded together where I begin to kinda work on everything at once and just more on that detail in the environment but that comes later after I uh, do the textures and the props and uh, decals and overlays which I will cover in later tutorials here I'm just making sure that I don't have any no draw texture uh, applied to any brushes that player sees because all, all you just the player will not uh, it'll, it'll, you will be, you will be able to see right through that so this is my base textured environment after I textured everything I uh, finished this building and I fixed a few things here and there so this is the clean pass base texture and then uh, after this point uh, we're going to add overlays add decals and props to make the environment you know, come to life so also I want to point out that um, I tried to use as many textures or reuse as many textures as I could so uh, textures like here up above I used for the stairs um, the brick I used on the other side so I, I tried to keep the texture memory size low by reusing as much of textures as I can this is not always possible but you want to keep that in mind so at this stage we have the base texture done and now we move on to props and decals and overlays